of change. We're back on the Headbangers Ball, but now Beto and Greg from White Lion are joining us. How are you guys doing? Good. Okay. That's good. Now, um, this last yeah. album, you took a little bit more time to record than Big Game. Main Attraction took, I guess, eight months or something like that? Well, not to record. I mean, the writing and everything. It took the same time to record, but we just spent more time writing it. Was there any reason you maybe... Is there anything different that you did with uh, the new album that you said, let's do this with Main Attraction and not do what we did on Big Game? Or did you kind of... Well, I think the thing that we did uh, most different was that we tried to make it more of an album instead of a collection of just ten songs, uh -huh. which gets, you know, when you're writing an album, you could write ten songs and then say, like, okay, here's the album, let's put it in order. But we wrote it in order with the feeling of going back to the 60s, 70s of what, you know, bought an album and you got that feeling of an entire album. Is that, is that the way that you kind of went into it? I mean, did you look at no, no, some of the 60s, 70s type bands? And no, that's the way we went into it. You know, when me and Mike first sat down to write it, you know, we just didn't want to um, concentrate on one song at a time because you do that, and then when you put all the songs together on the record, sometimes you find that they don't fit. Mm -hmm. You know, so you got you to gotta think in, ter in terms of themes, uh, you know, musically. So if you just, you know, bash somebody's head in, you got to bring it down, bring it up. You know, it's got to be uh, just like a live show. And not, not uh, so much as like uh, singles and that type of thought in your head. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a single. It doesn't matter if the song is 10 minutes long, put it on the record, we don't care. Cool. We'll be back with uh, Vito and the very outspoken Greg shortly. But right now it's time for Living Color Sailing On. Now, joining us right now on old Jennifer, for those of you that have never watched the Headbangers Ball, Jennifer is, of course, the co-host and the lovely couch here on the show. Is it? I was wondering what that was. Well, that's what we, we spend the time to make the guests feel comfortable. That's kind of... Did you, did you do these with yourself, Ricky? That's through comfort. Do, through comfort, or comfort rips. Comfort, comfort rips. rips. Anyways, if you didn't know, we're talking to Vito and Greg from the band White Lion. Now, all you guys are from other areas. I mean, Mike is from Denmark. Yeah. And most of the band has moved to L.A. now, with the exception of you, Vito, right? What's wrong with L.A.? Yeah. <laughs> nice question. That's just the old guitar player. You know, if I get too much of a tan, I'd look healthy, and it's not good for the band. Don't, don't want to look healthy, man, yeah. right? Now, when are we going to see you guys? We talked earlier about getting you guys on the road, and I guess you're going to do European shows. Yeah, we're going to Europe um, May 5th, something like that, for our first shows in Germany, doing like uh, six weeks there. And I think we start, when we start here in the States, like uh, June, July. Uh, the beginning of July, yeah. We're going to be, uh, you know, headlining this time. Mm -hmm. That was our main goal, was to get out and do our own shows. So uh, after all these years, we're finally going to get the chance to put on the show that we've always wanted to put on. We got our first shows at the Glendale Galleria. Yeah. The mall. <laughs> yeah. That's a little mall area that I'm sure most Tiffany fans are going, oh, really? Anyway, we'll be back with Greg and Vito in a few minutes. And we've also got videos. I'm, I, I'm just going to stand here and wait for both of these next videos. Motorhead and Thin Lizzy coming up. But right now, it's time for another great video. Back three. on the Headbangers Ball, we got a video and Greg from the band White Lion. And we were talking uh, earlier before we went to the videos about you guys headlining and doing headlining shows. So there are certain things that you're going to be doing with these shows now that you're able to do since you're headlining that you couldn't do <laughs> as an opening band? Yeah, three songs worth of records before it was 45 minutes and get the hell out of here. Now at least we're going to get to play. Uh-huh. You know. Is there any kind of special things on stage you guys are... I mean, you've got more stage area, obviously. No, actually, this this year we're going back to the, the, amp, the Wall of Amps look, you know, to tie into what we felt back, you know, getting back to the 70s or something, it's not, you know. Not the big ramps that, you know, our singer's got to jump around on. Just the big wall amps, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Did the guitarist get to jump around on? Yeah, you know, it's not none of that, uh, no, I can't jump, it's three high. <laughs> now, I also noticed on the album you're good. using uh, Richie Zito as a producer. Yeah. Who did stuff with Cheap Trick, and was that kind of, did you work with Richie, you know, because of he's done the, sev the Cheap Trick, who was obviously one of the big bands in the 70s? And uh, still. Well, the guys in Cheap Trick were living next door to me at the time, and they suggested using him, but it's not because of who he worked with, because uh, who he worked with had nothing to do with the sound of the White Lion. And, you know, we, you know, we knew a lot of people think that the producer's going to change. You know, if a producer did, like, a, a light band, they figured they're going to make you light, you know. But I think uh, the sound of the album came out heavier with them. Mm -hmm. So we didn't use him for any names, just the fact that he was a great... Great. Well, Great thanks guy, for stopping by. The new album is called Main Attractions. It's out in the stores. Go out and buy it. And uh, Pat and John from Mind Funk are going to be here right after this next video. I actually don't have enough time to talk about the things that I want to say about this next video. Uh, the guys were talking about the 70s sound. And uh, one of my all-time favorite bands of the 70s, 
not that I was that old in the 70s, was uh, Thin Lizzy. And we've got a video, we're giving them this illusion of my youth, okay? And we got a video right now from Thin Lizzy. Now, of course, the lineup of singer OD'd, and uh, so that's probably why there aren't any new Thin Lizzy albums. But they de recently remastered this song, and this song has never appeared on any Thin Lizzy records. And um, there's a new Thin Lizzy record out that's got all their greatest hits, and it's got this new song, which is called Dedication. You also might notice that John Sykes, who's in Whitesnake, is also in Thin Lizzy. Here is a video from one of the all-time greatest bands, in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of other people's. Here is Dedication from Thin Lizzy.